Okay, I am so excited to be teaching this lesson. I really enjoy this type of math and I think you will too. You are taking all of your knowledge about how to solve for area and you're gonna apply it a little bit deeper, okay? To remind you, remember area is figuring out your section within the two measurements. So you are multiplying. You're gonna multiply the base times the height to figure out your area. Well, in this lesson, you're going to have two different shapes and you're gonna combine your knowledge about the two different shapes into one answer. So what exactly am I talking about? Let me go into this information. Here is your task analysis for areas combined in rectangles, okay? Within that task analysis, it's telling you the steps, step one and step two. Step one, you are going to figure out the area of the first shape, and then you are going to figure out the area of the second shape, okay? So the first shape is 10 miles this direction, and it's nine miles this direction. Now, what we know about areas, we multiply the two numbers together. That's how they got the 90, but we're not done yet. You need to figure out the area of the second shape. Again, we know that the base is eight miles this direction. And if the entire measurement is 18, and we already know that this right here is 10, if we have 18 and I take away 10, how much do I have? I get eight, right? That's how much goes right here. So I know that the base is eight and the height is eight. So what's eight times eight? 64. Now, the second step is you are going to take these two areas and you're going to add them together. So 90 plus 64 equals 154, but you're not done yet. As soon as you figure out the answer, please, 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 when you write down your answer, do not forget your label. Now, remember, your label can be written two different ways. You can write your label 154 square miles, or you can write 154 square miles. So both ways to write it, we will accept either one. If you're doing a paper copy, you are probably going to need an extra piece of paper to solve and work out these problems. I am going to use the margin over here on my computer to show you everything, but I really do encourage you guys having an extra piece of paper. Also remember, that if you're doing it on Google Classroom, you're going to have a separate document to type all of your answers. So I recommend doing your work on a separate piece of paper and then have that piece of paper right in front of you and then transfer over your answers. OK, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and do number one. Number one, you need to divide this shape up into two very simple shapes. So all I do is I'm going to draw a line right here and that breaks the shape up. Now, I'm going to solve for just this rectangle right here, which is pretty simple. I am going to multiply 10 times 5. 10 times 5 is 50. But I am not done yet. I need to solve for the next shape. The next shape is right here. Once again, they gave me the measurements. So I know that I have a 4 by three centimeter that I need to figure out the area for. Four times three is 12. Now, this is step one. You have solved for step one. Now you need to move to step two. Step two says you need to add the areas up together. So if you have 50, which I got from this right here, plus the 12. So two plus zero is two. 5 plus 1 is 6. So I know that I have an area of 62. I'm measuring in centimeters, and it needs to be squared. Okay? Now, remember, you can write it the other way. You can write it as 62 squared centimeters, all in words, too, if that helps you out. Okay? I am going to go up, and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like on a worksheet. Let me erase everything. And again, this is area of combinations. So I'm going to come to my worksheet that will be on Google Classroom. Again, question one, you are going to type in or write your answer. It is 62 
oh goodness, what's going on? Race, let's try this again. Okay, 62. And then I, because I'm typing it, pretend I'm typing it, squared, and I measured it in centimeters. You can abbreviate it if you want, or you can write it out. But that's what it's going to look like for question one. And you are going to do this for six questions. Okay. The next assignment that you are going to be expected to do is, let me go back up. Sorry. Okay. Go to our worksheet. The last assignment you're going to do is called Find Unknown Measures. Within Find Unknown Measures, if I look at my task analysis, it says that Fred has 30 yards of fencing to enclose a rectangular vegetable garden. He wants it to be six yards wide. Okay. How long will the vegetable garden be? We don't know what that measurement is. Step one, decide whether this problem involves area or perimeter. So we are going to be refreshing on both of those skills. Remember, perimeter, you're adding all of the sides up. And area, you're only multiplying the length and the width. Okay. So... If I think about the fencing and how a fence goes all the way around a garden, that means I need to measure the perimeter, correct? Now, if I know that I'm going to use perimeter and I know that the width is six, how do, and I know that the perimeter right here is going to be 30 because it tells me so in this equation, I need to set something up and figure out how to do the rest of it, okay? Now, this worksheet I don't really love because they kind of made it really mathematical looking. Um, some of your brains work that way. That's great. But you know, in order to figure out your perimeter, you have to add up four sides. One plus another side plus another side plus another side. Correct? And you already know that this is six, which means this one's going to be six, right? So you're going to add a six here and you're going to add a six here. But you have to figure out, okay, well, what other ones do I going to add here? Well, you already know six plus six, that equals 12. That's easy. And you're trying to get to the answer of 30. Well, if 12 plus what equals 30? Well, what's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. Very good. So if you have 30 and you subtract 12 from that, turn this into a 10, make this a 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. 2 minus 1 is 1. 18. So you know 18 is going to go right here. But you have two spots here that you have to fill. So what is half of 18? 9. Very good. So you know that this side is going to be a 9 and this side is going to be a 9. And that's what's going to give you the total of 30 yards. You are working on trying to figure out what the unknown is. Let me erase and we'll go into the next question. Let's erase all of this here. Okay. Carol has 120 square inches of wood. The piece of wood is rectangular. It has the height of 10 inches. How long is the base? Once again, you are deciding, am I figuring out a perimeter to go all the way around it? Not really, because you know that you're doing square. And as soon as you see the square, you know you're doing base times height. So then you plug in, what information do you know? Well, you know that the total is 120. You know that you have the height of 10, and you have to figure out the base. So 10 times what is going to give you 120? What is the opposite of multiplication? Division, very good. If you took 120 and you divided it by 10, 10 goes into 12, 1 times 1 times 10 is 10. Subtract 2, bring down your 0. 10 goes into 22 times. 2 times 10 is 20. Subtract, you have 0. What's your answer? 12. And that's how they got the answer. Fun stuff, right? Okay, so let me erase that also, and we'll go into the first problem. Now, notice how this um, worksheet, it actually only has a couple problems. We gave you another one just so you had extra practice. So there's actually two sides to this worksheet, okay? And you will see that in your packet or in Google Classroom. So I'm actually going to work through 
um, the first problem so you can know what to do. Okay, step one, find the unknown measurement. You know that the perimeter is 40 inches. What is the width? So we already know we're figuring out perimeter. And then the second one, you're figuring out area. Good. Okay, they figured that part out for us. So we know perimeter, you have to add up all of the sides. Well, I know that if I have five inches on that side, that means I have five inches on this side. And I know for perimeter, I'm going to add four spots to equal my perimeter, which is 40. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to put my five here, my five here. Five plus five is 10. So 10 plus what is going to give me 40? What's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. And I'm going to just use this area right here to help me. So if I have 40 and I subtract 10, what do I have? 30. But I have two spots here. What's half of 30? If I took 30 and divided it by two, what would I get? 15, very good. So I know that 15 is gonna go here and I know that a 15 is going to go here. So what's my width? It is 15 inches. Okay, and if I showed you this on the worksheet, you know what it looks like, let me erase. Again, we're figuring out finding unknowns, which is this worksheet here. Whoops, I have my eraser on. Let me get it back to my mouse here. Answer one. I know that my answer was 15. And what am I measuring in? I'm measuring in inches. So I would write inches right here. And as you can see on this worksheet, it has the questions for the opposite side too. Okay. Okay, have fun doing some math. Don't forget that the second problem you're doing on your worksheet is it perimeter, it's area. So you're gonna multiply the two numbers. You need to figure out those missing numbers to solve it. Have fun.